Good afternoon and thanks for joining me for another episode. Finally, we are getting to close to a thousand followers. So that's cool. Um, today, I just want to show you inside a Nova Seminelli coffee machine. One that I love and hate. It's an Apia 2. So let's uh, take a look. All right. So here's the machine. So to run through things that I like about this machine is I love the levers easy to operate locks on down and easily clean all right uh, very simple machine it has a unique group head uh, so in here and in here are a cavity. So once the pump starts, they fill up before you get extraction. Uh, so it actually extracts the coffee really well. And I'd like to hear your feedback because in my opinion, it extracts better than the E61 group head that everyone loves. Tell me what's your favorite group head or what's your favorite coffee machine? Um, Nova Simonelli, Apia, there's an Apia 2, has absolutely fantastic extraction. I might do a shot and show you just how good it is. Alright, let's have a look at the extraction. Did, mind you, this machine, I haven't dialed it in, uh, or anything. So, what you see here, I mean, we're working on a, on a repair uh, bench. Please have a look. And if you can see the different colors you're getting. It's just beautiful extraction on this machine. And that's not even, that's not even dialed in. Look at that. So, the machine I love to hate. Um, yeah, like I said, the levers are good. Uh, the steam nozzle, sorry about the noise here. The steam nozzle on these are fantastic. It actually makes probably one of the best uh, textures of milk. Um, the group head's fantastic. These buttons are a bit, how you going? Especially the middle one, it's like the whole... The whole panel likes to bend a bit, and to replace that is quite expensive. So when we look inside, and here's my issue with the, this is what I like to call the design flaw, is why would you put the pressure stat that controls the boiler, you got steam coming up, traveling down here, and the pressure stat flicking on and off, on and off, turning the element. You can see there's a bit of corrosion there. Turning the element on and off. This is the only machine, one of the only machines where you see the pressure stat down there. It should be up here, where my finger is, up here. Why? Because if we get any water trapped, as the machine's cooling down, it will run back into the tank. Now here, if you get any water trapped in here, it's very hard to get that water back up, uphill, and into the tank. So why on earth would the designers at Nova Simonelli decide to put the pressure stat on the bottom? I don't know. Um, on most of the machines that we have, I've actually moved the pressure stat up here. I've relocated it uh, just so you don't get that issue. Other than that, flawless machine. And a good looking machine too. I've got the sides off at the moment. Yep, simple, uh, very effective, and fantastic group heads. Uh, here you've got the solenoid spitting out the side where the E61 spits underneath, right? All right, short video for today. Nova Simonelli, RPO2. 
If you like this video, don't forget to jump online, support us by ordering a kilo of coffee so we can keep making some videos for you home mechanics and coffee lovers. Thanks again. Until next time, don't forget, you only have one shot, one opportunity, so make it a good one. Cheers.